because then I guess it's possible if we can get a live feed of that. that yeah. So amazing. that. So what time did you think that was going to be at? About uh, about ten thirty. Yeah, about forty five minutes from now. Roughly. Okay. Um, Dostro what? will be there at eleven fifteen. Oh. Uh, oh no. Okay. Oh, man, I have my curve. That works. Hey, what, what's the local time here? Local, local time is 10.48. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we, right, yeah, never, never mind, you're an hour ahead of us, right? Yeah, our time is Okay, on. so we will call you. Um, we've got another call in in 15 minutes. We'll try and call you. Actually, if 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 you're there and things are happening, uh, you can try and just send us a message through Skype, and we'll just try and call you from then. If not, we will call you in about 45 minutes or an hour. Yeah, you just wait in in you wait at that you just IKEA. Just wait. Yeah, just and wait. We'll, for we'll a give while. you a call. Yeah, if you see time. anybody with a desert bus sign, <laughs> feel free to uh, Skype in with them on the Skype uh, <laughs> to give us an idea of who they are. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Tell uh, tell Dostro. <laughs> 30 seconds once we get there, and if he's not there, we're out of here. We got work to do. We're out of here. <laughs> How are you going to know each other? Oh, he's going to find you guys because yeah. you're wearing the well, shirts. And they also have a giant pimp bus. Yes, that's yes. true. We, we have the pimp and van, so. <laughs> wow, you, I love oh, you asking no, the panic the We've got a panic oh, button because, uh, well, quite frankly, you panic on these kind of trips. <laughs> so be in the parking lot nice. like, yes, I see this over and over, and you'll hopefully recognize us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds good. What? Bye, folks. So good. Right. Check a message from me. Get to IKEA. All right. Catch you later. It's the awesome. IKEA in South Phoenix. The, the chat South that's Phoenix asking. IKEA. Yeah, that's it. All right. Whoa. Sounds good. If anyone in that area wants to let the local police know that there's some drunk driver. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do Don't that. Don't listen to Morgan. <laughs> Don't waste the They're drunk and time. they're holding. Don't listen to Morgan. <laughs> there's a reason why Morgan I believe is they're armed also. A general rule of thumb is just don't listen to Morgan. <laughs> yep. yeah. I just made that mistake. Ever, ever, ever. 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 Don't believe anything he says. <laughs> yep, yeah, awesome. All right, I should go to work, unfortunately. Oh, did they rename my team yeah, Jerry Yoker? Yeah, 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 let's take a look at that. What? They renamed your team No, what, no, Cruz, it's all in your mind. It's it's actually you putting that label on yourself. That's what you get for denouncing It's all right. It, um... <laughs> all right, uh, we've got about only 10 minutes left until our current crop of silent auctions are over. So uh, no, let's do a quick recap. Um, that is a very good point. Anybody who has a chance of meeting these guys, club the hell out of oh, them. Yeah! Yeah! That's right. And of course, he means clubbing in the uh, so club soda way. Yeah. Yes. Do, do not do them, them, them any physical the harm. <laughs> They're awesome. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, club them. That would be great. Or if you have like a stuffed duck, maybe perhaps give them that to carry mm. along with it. Just basically fill their van with crap. Fill their van <laughs> with crap. Yeah. Yeah. If Wait, you have yeah. any, if you have any large barbells, the or, like, wanna, wanna or maybe a giant pallet of cinder blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Pass them along. Make the IKEA spend hundred bucks and buy a bunch of furniture. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Make this memorable. We're yeah. gonna let's have a lot yeah. of fun with this. Yeah. yeah. Have fun at yeah. IKEA. All right. Uh, what do we got going on here? Okay. So we've got. And we've I'm got gonna go. Three silent auctions. Really, really good to see you, Kate. Yeah. Really good to see you guys. Yeah. I, I'll, I shall return. Excellent. I, I must work to earn money to feed Bill. Uh, unfortunately, that is the, the story of my life. Mm. Must work to earn money to feed Bill. Bill. Bill's big. He eats a lot of Bill food, Bill eats a lot. An obscene amount. An obscene amount. <laughs> I shall return. I shall come back with stories. I had to bring Morgan coffee. Aww. Mm. Bye guys, see you later. Bye, Have Bye, fun. Yeah. Earn lots of money. I'll keep yakking out in the community. Good to see you, Hat Girl. All yes. right, so we have Monty calling in in eight minutes. Before he calls in, I just want to go over the, the silent auctions that are ending also in eight minutes. Uh, there are two things presently, uh, presently about to end. Uh, one of them is uh, the three awesome books by, uh, is, it, uh, is it Omi Inoyui? Sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, who wrote The Girl's Guide to Dating a Geek, but has also written two awesome children's books oh, nice. as well. Um, the uh, um, uh, Andre Curse, a storybook about recursion, <laughs> um, which is pretty neat. It's a book that has, I think, a sheet of like paper in the front uh, with little tabs on it, and you attach those tabs to different pages, and that, that uh, makes you go through the book differently. Oh, neat. Uh, it, it, looks pretty, cool it looks pretty sweet. And um, uh, ca uh, Introductory Calculus for Infants. Which uh, nice. which is nice. pretty awesome. Um, I've I've been looking through both of them. They they both look pretty sweet. Um, and uh, you know I'm I'm generally you know doing the teacher training right now, and it's it's fun to uh, to see neat children's books. Uh, the other one 
is uh, an, a, the original art from a uh, Things My Cat Hates comic of your choice by Kathleen, Ooh. which is presently going for eight hundred dollars. Oh, wow! Whoa. Yeah, but uh, you know, there's still room for that to go up. I think for a, an original piece of art, uh, there's not many of these out there. In fact, I don't know if there are any of these no. out there. No. Uh, as far Kathleen as Kathleen has kept them all, up they there. are all in her house. Yeah, so, uh, so, you know, if you want something that's, uh, that's ex an exceedingly rare uh, piece of um, Things My Cat Hates uh, history, you can, uh, you can absolutely pick that up for a, a steal at uh, $800 plus whatever, whatever uh, sniping goes on. I was watching Kelly's, uh, Kelly's custom, custom plush option last, oh. or auction last night, and there was sniping going on at the end. Oh yeah. I was I was refreshing the page, like and it kept it throughout the ding, last ding. like minute and a half of the auction. It went up another hundred and something dollars just from people Whoa. going. Bum, 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 I know there was there's the 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 sterling silver creepy doll one. Mm -hmm. Was like two hundred dollars. And was then a, that wasn't sniping. That was just an atom bomb dropped. Yeah, on it was two hundred dollars, and then Kaboom. and then like like five minutes before the end, and then when it actually sold for like two thousand dollars. Jesus. Holy. Yeah. Somebody just upped the bid uh, by two grand. And then, then uh, later on down the line, four hours after that, there's a Serenity beanbag chair cover. So if you if you have you know a uh, a nice plush area with a beanbag chair in it, you and can, it's not uh, awesome enough already. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can deck it out with the. Uh, it, it's basically the the painted um, uh, symbol from the side of uh, from the side of Serenity. Yeah, um, yeah. On there. It's it's, it's, uh, it's yeah super Our nice. Um, to go along with that, there is also a, uh, a Jane hat. Nice. So uh, you know, the, next time you want to sing the uh, the hero of Canton, it's a yeah. It's we a, sang that last night or yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, sure we've we've, 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 we've sang it a few times. This year. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's very authentic and, and very warm. It's very cuddly. Um, I absolutely would do it. And, if you'd dump and, and it shows you to be a serious badass. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Because only only a very dangerous man would wear a hat like that. Yeah. Who are you, Miss Pikachu? They are, some people are answering the question for me. Yep. They call me Hat Girl. Um, and the final thing that's going in in like another four hours is a uh, a creeper plate, which is amazing. It is sort of a square uh, ish. I it, I would call it like a sushi dish basically, um, and uh, it's got nice like curved insides like this, um, relatively recessed, and it's a big creeper face from Minecraft. The, so. only, the only problem with it is you. Put food on it and and you eat and then you go. Ah! Yeah, exactly. Like you have to you have to keep remembering that there's a creeper there when you pick up your. That's food. that's sort of authentic though. Like you yes. you don't realize that it's behind you until suddenly you turn <laughs> and there it is. So the hero of Tucson, the <laughs> one they call Hat Girl. Yes. Awesome. So those uh, those auctions are ongoing and we've have of course all sorts of amazing stuff still coming up. Yeah. Uh, but if you want the uh, if you want the books which are sweet. Um, and currently at 125, or the Things My Cat Hates original artwork, which is currently at 800, definitely get on that because they are going to be done in four minutes. Um, oh, the books have jumped up a little bit. Good too, point, so. Kaiselbub. Another point you might want to know is that I am currently registering a religion with the Canadian government, and uh, so I will officially be a super pope very soon. <laughs> what? What? What's the name of the religion? It is the um, Papal Order of Morgasmic Magicians. <laughs> Uh, Private Blister, you can email email pictures and such to uh, stuff at desertbus.org. That is where that stuff goes. And apparently Notch is back. So that's no, pretty no, cool. It's, I'm just More gasmic. The sky from the server, okay. So I hope you're watching because <laughs> your constant attempts to try and impersonate Notch have now got you banned from the server. Yay! Okay. Officiating at weddings in BC is a very sticky point, but it's not impossible. Uh, yeah, it will take a little longer, but... It will happen. Plus, he's in uh, he's in Europe somewhere, and Notch is in Vegas. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're on to you. Know, I, I noticed that when I, I saw the Sky IP, I've been watching him join. In I just don't want to bend so Notch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Monty Cook is calling. He is, as I've said, as I as I've said, he's the uh, one of the co-designers of D and D Third Edition and the okay. the writer of the D and D Third Edition Dungeon Master's Guide. How, no, how I don't have questions. A, uh, we've got a few. Um, we don't have a huge number, so again, <laughs> if there's anything that you want to to ask Monty, absolutely uh, go on to the the uh, the blog and post a comment and uh, ask him what you want. I don't have contact information for Monty. Is he? Uh, I would assume that he's calling us. Hopefully, yep. Do you, do you have contact in case we I to call us? Nope. <laughs> Matt because does, I assume. And we can vamp if that happens. 
Um, we work it all out. So. Uh, I think Desert Bus is basically all vamp. <laughs> it's 148 yeah. hours or whatever, 160 odd <laughs> hours of vamp. Vamping. Good job, Full Throttle Arcana. But, uh, yeah, actually, I get a lot of emails uh, over the course of a year saying, uh, more or less, what, what kind of advice do you have for a beginner DM? Uh, you know, how would you suggest DMing a game, et cetera, et cetera. Kill and, people uh, as quickly as possible. And, yeah, I mean, I am not necessarily the best person to, uh, to ask those kinds of questions to, but this is the guy who quite literally wrote the book. <laughs> awesome. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, nice, yeah, yeah. What is the name of that book again? Uh, the, 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 the Guide to Mastering Dungeons? Okay. Mm. The, 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 the... Is that the little Vic Finn Black book they made a few Is it? Yeah, the Dungeon Master's it's, Guide. It's a standalone guide. It's not affiliated with, like, a D20 series or a group series. Uh, no, no, no. The, 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 the Dungeon Master's Guide is, like, one of the core d Well, yeah, it's okay. So he yeah. did, he actually wrote that book. Yeah, yeah. He's the co-designer oh, of 3rd Edition, and, okay. and of the three core books of 3rd Edition, he wrote the DMG. Ah, okay. Nice. Yeah. That's for 3.0. It was then like revised with 3.5. He was also um, he also served as a consultant for the Pathfinder RPG, ah, which is, is he, uh, he's not with Paizo right now. Right? No, he's not actually. He's never been with Paizo. He was freelancing uh, for that, but he's um, he is presently, I believe, going back to work for Wizards again, and he's writing a he's writing a regular column on their website, which is pretty nice. cool. So, what's so the really spectacular way to kill someone in D and D? I like that. That might be a good question to ask. Uh, but after that, we'll win. The limit is your imagination. Yeah. Who wrote the book on erotic Star, Star Trek fan fiction? Possibly Bill's mom. <laughs> nice handoff. My God! <laughs> Wait, uh, no, none of us even flinched. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! See, there's a lot of good questions coming up. Steer left. Steer left. Oh God! Hold down the A button. You got it. Can you want us to lose? Hat girl, you're waking us out. Stay on the left side of the road, please. I mean, nobody even moved when he got up. We're like, yeah, whatever. You're like, what? Well, he's probably got it. I can't have anything Wait, important what? that he's doing right now. We had a few. Seconds. Okay, there's a bunch more Montego questions here now. <laughs> Morgan just has confidence in us. <laughs> Mis misplaced confidence. In you guys, maybe. Oh, it is two in the morning to do that kind of stuff to us. <laughs> we just, yeah, you're at, you at least stay that early in the morning now. It's like 10. You know? <laughs> Until 11 a.m., still two in the morning. Actually, is, this, is another, uh, this is another good thing because there's been a lot of people in chat who have been like, oh, well, it's all about women drivers crashing the bus. That's it, because every time you put a guy in a dress, he crashes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come here, you he can crap he on. You, man. You walk in. <laughs> every time That's you walk so in, nice something walk terrible in. is being said about women. But in the chat, people keep saying, oh, women driver jokes incoming. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like, okay, look, see, hat girl is driving the bus. She and saved everything us all. is fine. She saved the bus. That's yeah, like reverse crashing. Bus. Morgan just got up and walked away from the bus and just left the controller <laughs> on the chair. <laughs> Did you think you were only going to be about four seconds? <laughs> that was enjoyable. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that. I like that. <laughs> well, just walk it. Just Morgan, drop the controller. Morgan does that all the time. I've never <laughs> seen Morgan just drop the controller and walk away. <laughs> Please tell me you captured that so we can post it later. <laughs> Everything Everything's captured. captured. <laughs> just Mac. <laughs> this is astounding. <laughs> Nothing went wrong. Nothing went wrong. Uh, is that indeed a that is a knitted Pikachu hat? It isn't. It's yep. crochet. 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 And uh, on that note, I have a question for you guys. I'd like you to think about for a moment, and then save up your answers. Uh, if next year a hat crocheted by the same person goes up for auction somewhere on this desert bus, what would you like it to be? She's also made hats from all different sorts of things. She makes lots of bunny hats and, you know, animal hats. And she made one of the hat that the helper Timo from League of Legends wears with the little goggles and ears. And she made a Sonic character hat. She can so do many things. Really specialized in the, the ear hats, eh? Look, anything adorable, she's really good at. <laughs> oh, couple oh. of people asking for Metroid hats. Those are always good. I, I believe Ben has the first. I'm, I'm not looking at your yeah. answers yet, but I guess they are. Except what a Metroid hat would go for yeah. now in Desert Bus is beyond <laughs> what anybody could possibly afford. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to start looking at answers. And I'll try and give her some good ideas. I saw a Cupid Doll hat in there. Cupid Doll, Mudkip. 
Head crab. Kirby. Kirby she Wait. would like to do Kirby. Kirby has no, but 